To truly understand Lady Jessica's significance, we must first grasp the complex political landscape of the Dune universe. The story is set in the distant future where interstellar travel is made possible by the spice known as melange. This valuable substance is found exclusively on the desert planet of Arrakis, making it the center of power for various factions and political intrigue. Within this tumultuous environment, Lady Jessica emerges as a central figure. Born to the Bene Gesserit, a secretive sisterhood known for its mental and physical training, Jessica possesses extraordinary abilities and knowledge passed down through generations. She is trained in manipulation, politics, and the Bene Gesserit's unique techniques, such as the voice and the ability to control her body's chemistry. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is Lady Jessica, and why is she so important? Lady Jessica is a central figure in the Dune universe, portrayed beautifully by the talented Rebecca Ferguson in the recent film adaptation. Lady Jessica, portrayed as a Bene Gesserit, a secretive order of women with extraordinary abilities, finds herself at the crossroads of various powerful forces in the universe. As the concubine of Duke Leto Atreides and mother to Paul Atreides, she holds immense influence over the Atreides family, which becomes crucial in the the unfolding narrative. What makes Lady Jessica genuinely remarkable is her extraordinary training and unique abilities. As a Bene Gesserit, she possesses heightened senses, exceptional control over her body, and the ability to manipulate and influence others. These skills, and her unwavering determination, make her a formidable force to be reckoned with. Jessica moved to Arrakis with Leto and their son Paul in 10,191 AG, when House Atreides was handed the fiefdom of Arrakis. Their reign, however, was short lived due to a plot devised by Emperor Shaddam Corino IV and Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. When House Harkonnen took over Arrakis, Leto was killed, and Jessica and Paul went rogue and fled into the deep desert, eventually joining the Fremen. Her sadness over losing Leto, who was slain during the Harkonnen attack, was complicated because she was expecting her daughter, Aaliyah Atreides. Lady Jessica's importance extends beyond her attributes. She plays a crucial role in shaping the destiny of her son, Paul Atreides. Believed to be the long-awaited messiah by the indigenous people of the desert planet Arrakis, Paul's journey from a young and uncertain man to a legendary figure is intricately connected to Lady Jessica's choices and guidance. One of the reasons Lady Jessica holds such significance in the story is her navigation of complex power dynamics. As the power landscape of Dune becomes increasingly treacherous, she must maneuver through webs of deceit, betrayal, and manipulation. Her choices affect her fate and have far-reaching consequences for the entire universe. Lady Jessica's resilience and bravery are tested as she is entangled in deadly conflicts. She inspires those around her through actions, empowering them to fight against injustice and oppression. Ultimately, Lady Jessica's significance lies in her unwavering loyalty, fierce determination, and love for her family. She represents the strength and resilience of women in a world dominated by power-hungry individuals and serves as a symbol of hope in the face of adversity. What did Lady Jessica look like? Lady Jessica has long flowing auburn hair cascading down her back like a fiery waterfall. It frames her face and accentuates her striking green eyes, which seem to hold a depth of wisdom and an intense determination. Her eyes have an almost hypnotic quality, drawing you into her world. Her face carries an ethereal elegance with high cheekbones and a refined jawline. Her complexion is smooth and radiant, often bearing a soft glow from the desert sun. The sands of Arrakis have left their mark on her, subtly bronzing her skin and accentuating her regal allure. Lady Jessica's attire is captivating. She adorns her garments, befitting her stature. Her dresses are rich in detail with intricate embroidery and patterns that reflect the culture and traditions of the house. Every garment is carefully chosen, exuding elegance and practicality. In Frank Herbert's novel, Lady Jessica's signature accessory is the Bene Gesserit veil. This distinctive headdress, often a vibrant color, conceals part of her face, adding an air of mystique and intrigue. It symbolizes her membership in the powerful order of the Bene Gesserit, a group known for its formidable mental and physical abilities. Lady Jessica's physical appearance is only a fraction of what makes her truly captivating. Her strength lies in her intelligence, determination, and unwavering love for her family. As a Bene Gesserit, she possesses exceptional training in manipulation and control. Yet, despite her formidable abilities, she also carries a vulnerability that makes her relatable and human. Lady Jessica's beauty goes far beyond her physical appearance. It emanates from her spirit and her unwavering 
unwavering dedication to her loved ones. Her presence in the world of Dune is that of a mother, a leader, and a force to be reckoned with. Exploring her appearances in the movies so far. Our first encounter with Lady Jessica was in the 1984 adaptation of Frank Herbert's Dune, directed by David Lynch. The talented Francesca Annis played the role of Jessica. Annis captured the essence of Jessica's strength and complexity, embodying her as an influential Bene Gesserit member and mother to Paul Atreides. Jumping ahead to 2021, we witnessed the much-anticipated release of Dune, directed by Denis Villeneuve. This time, the remarkable Rebecca Ferguson took on the role of Lady Jessica. Ferguson's portrayal added a fresh layer of vulnerability to the character, showcasing her fierce love for Paul and her internal struggle between loyalty and her desires. In Villeneuve's Dune, we see Lady Jessica navigating the treacherous world of Arrakis, where House Atreides faces political intrigue and supernatural forces. Ferguson brings a remarkable depth to Jessica's character, displaying resilience, intelligence, and unyielding determination. Of course, these films are just the tip of the iceberg regarding Lady Jessica's cinematic journey. The character has also appeared in various adaptations in other mediums, such as the Sci-Fi Channel's miniseries Frank Herbert's Dune in 2000, where Saskia Reeves portrayed Jessica. Reeves interpreted the role differently, emphasizing Jessica's strategic thinking and the manipulative aspects of her Bene Gesserit training. Her performance provided audiences with yet another fascinating portrayal of this iconic character. With each portrayal, Lady Jessica has continued to captivate audiences, evolving through the years while staying true to the core qualities that make her such a memorable figure. From Annis to Ferguson, these actresses have beautifully brought their characters to life on the big and small screens. What makes her such a powerful character? In Frank Herbert's monumental masterpiece, Dune, Lady Jessica emerges as a multifaceted character with an undeniable aura of power. Lady Jessica's passion stems from her unwavering inner strength and resilience. Despite the immense pressure placed upon her as a Bene Gesserit and a member of House Atreides, she remains steadfast in her beliefs and principles. She endures personal sacrifices for the greater good, even when faced with the complexities of her love for Duke Leto Atreides and their son, Paul. From defying the Bene Gesserit sisterhood by bearing a son instead of a daughter, as ordered in order to navigate the treacherous politics of the power-hungry universe, Lady Jessica's resilience shines through, inspiring us all to stand firm in the face of adversity. Lady Jessica possesses a remarkable depth of wisdom and intuition, which elevate her influence in the story. She is perceptive, sensing hidden agendas and deciphering the complexities of the intricate power dynamics in the world of Dune. Her ability to see beyond the surface and understand the motivations of those around her allows Lady Jessica to make calculated decisions with far-reaching consequences. She uses her intuition to protect her family and allies, ensuring their survival and guiding them toward their destinies. Lady Jessica's power also lies in her mastery of the Bene Gesserit arts, owned through rigorous training and discipline. Her command over the voice, a technique used to control others through vocal manipulation, is particularly striking. Lady Jessica imparts invaluable knowledge through her love, guidance, and teachings, instilling unwavering determination in Paul. She molds him into the legendary figure who would lead the Fremen Rebellion and reshape the very fabric of the universe. Will the character of Lady Jessica be changed in Dune Part 2? Would she become a villain? Frank Herbert's original novel, Dune, is the foundation for this epic film adaptation. Lady Jessica is a complex and multifaceted character in the book, torn between loyalty to her family and the mysterious Bene Gesserit sisterhood. This duality opens the door for intriguing storytelling possibilities. One of the reasons fans speculate Lady Jessica's transformation into a villain is her relentless pursuit of power and survival. As House as Atreides faces numerous challenges and political intrigues, she might be compelled to make morally ambiguous choices to protect her loved ones. In the novel, Lady Jessica is faced with the immense responsibility of shaping the future through her son, Paul. This burden and her secret Bene Gesserit training could push her to utilize manipulative tactics and make decisions that may be perceived as villainous. Fans have also pointed out certain moments in Dune Part 1 that could serve as foreshadowing for Lady Jessica's transformation. For instance, her willingness to use the voice, a Bene Gesserit technique to control others, indicates her potential for embracing darker methods. Additionally, the film subtly hints at Lady Jessica's complex relationship with Paul, where their roles as mother and son blur with those of mentor and mentee. This dynamic could lead to unforeseen consequences in part two. This potential character arc also provides a unique opportunity for filmmakers to explore themes of power, loyalty, and the fine line between good and evil. 
Will she become a messiah? The Fremen, the native inhabitants of Arrakis, found hope and excitement in Jessica's arrival for two significant reasons. Firstly, their revered reverend mother, Ramalo, was old and nearing the end of her life, the Fremen needed a worthy successor with the necessary training and knowledge to guide them. And that's where Jessica became the perfect choice with her Bene Gesserit teachings. Jessica possessed a deep understanding of the ways of the mind and the body. This knowledge was invaluable to the Fremen, allowing her to heal the sick and impart crucial wisdom to her new community. But there was another reason why Jessica's arrival was so eagerly anticipated. Long ago, the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood had foretold the coming of a messiah, a figure who would lead the Fremen to a new era of greatness. And this messiah was said to be born of a Bene Gesserit. Despite being aware of the potential consequences and dangers, Jessica made a daring decision. She chose to undergo a risky ritual that involved ingesting the toxic liquid known as the Water of Life extracted from a young sandworm. This act was not only a rite of passage to become a full-fledged reverend mother, but also profoundly impacted the unborn child she carried. This extraordinary act fundamentally altered the genetic makeup of Jessica's unborn daughter, Aaliyah, leading to what is known as an abomination. Aaliyah was born with memories and consciousness from countless ancestors, making her wise beyond her years, but also burdened with a complex and tumultuous existence. Jessica's transformation into a reverend mother and the birth of Aaliyah, the abomination, had significant implications for the Fremen and the unfolding events on Arrakis. These events set the stage for a grand narrative filled with political intrigue, religious prophecy, and the destiny of the Fremen people. Jessica's love story became an enduring cautionary tale, taught and discussed for millennia. Her experience served as a valuable lesson for the sisterhood, emphasizing the importance of restraint for the greater good of the sisterhood and humanity at large. It's important to understand the magnitude of Jessica's role in shaping the fate of humanity. By surrendering to her love, she unwittingly unleashed a chain of events that led to unforeseen consequences and ultimately disrupted the carefully laid plans of the sisterhood. The aftermath of Jessica's crimes resonated across generations, sparking debates, reflections, and scholarly analysis. It symbolized the delicate balance between personal desires and collective well-being. The sisterhood sought to immortalize this cautionary tale, ensuring that future generations of the Bene Gesserit would learn from Jessica's experience. And there you have it. The cap captivating saga of Lady Jessica. Let us know in the comments what you think about this cautionary tale and its impact on the Dune universe. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking discussions on your favorite science fiction worlds. And until next time, keep exploring the stars.